Welcome to Emu Foot Grassland. This small reserve is one of our more significant reserves because it holds some intact vegetation. It's uh, plains grassland or stony knoll grassland. Uh, there's only 0.01% of grasslands, intact grasslands remaining across Victoria, which is uh, quite a depletion of that vegetation type. We've had a really good season with La, La Nina and many of the flowering forbs and herbs around the place are still going. Normally they'd be finished up by December. We're into February here, getting into March, and they're still here, so we'll be able to see some colour uh, whilst we're out on a walk. So we'll catch up with Meredith and Rosie just on, on site at the moment, and we'll have a bit of a chat about the site. Thanks. Thanks, Frank. My name's Rosie, and this is Meredith, and we work in the conservation team, and one of our reserves here is the Emu Foot Grassland. This grassland is named after the a local species here that's remnant in this area, the Cullentenax, which is commonly called the emu foot because the leaf shape is in the shape of an emu foot. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of work over the few years in this grassland and one of our main problem weeds is the Chilean needlegrass, a South American needlegrass. It's very, very tricky for us because it looks a lot like the local grass, but it's very invasive in this grassland. It's hard to kill and it, it has a lot of seed that lives in the soil for a long time. So you might see us in the site doing some, some work here and thanks for coming to Emu Foot today.